if not entirely surprising. I mean, we should be really blunt and frank about this. Trying to shut down Parliament in order to force through a no-deal Brexit that everybody knows will do real and lasting damage to people the length and breadth of the UK is not democracy, it is dictatorship. And if MPs don't find a way of coming together next week to stop Boris Johnson in his tracks, then today will go down in history as the day any semblance of UK democracy died. Is this, as your Brexit Secretary Michael Russell said, a coup d'etat? I think that is a reasonable description. This is an abuse of process. It is whatever Boris Johnson says and however he tries to dress it up, this is about trying to stop a majority in Parliament coming together to avoid a no-deal Brexit. Now, you know, that's the kind of behaviour you expect to see in countries that are not democratic, that are ruled by dictators. Uh, and that's happening here in the UK. I mean, Boris Johnson, let's not forget, is not elected by anybody other than the Conservative Party. And here he is trying to shut down Parliament. Uh, Brexit was meant to be, supposedly, about bringing control back to the House of Commons. And now you know, we've supposedly got to accept that it, it's so important to force it through in the worst possible way that Parliament has to be shut down. It is completely outrageous.